Hi everyone, this is Lolly. Today I have a new product to share with you. Let me get my glasses on. I was uh, contacted by this company that makes eco-friendly craft mats, and you know the, the cutting mats, self-healing cutting mats that we use. This is so big that I figured I better come in the living room and do this instead of in my craft room. So, I want to start opening this. They reached out to me and asked me if I would like to try out their craft mats. And although I wasn't in a need of a craft mat, the reason that I was interested was they have a different twist on their craft mats. Let me read what it says. This is from their website. Well, actually, first I got their email and it said, let me introduce to Eco Pico Art, a manufacturer of eco-friendly and non-toxic mats for all kinds of arts and DIY projects. Our company was born from a father's love for his son who has asthma and his passion to create. The father developed the first non-toxic table mat for his son to make art on and the rest is history. That was in the email. So, And the website states that their cutting mats are engineered from the ground up using PP material that's proven 100% safe even for kids. Experience safe and fun DIY projects and activities with your kids in an eco-friendly self-healing mats. And it says um, their environmental stewardship is their middle name. They are PVC and BPA free, non-toxic, odorless, five-layered self-healing design for less waste. It says we care about the environment as much as we care about the quality of your work. Every Eco Pico art cutting mat is designed to last longer and be the best choice for the environment. They say they're 100% safe for the kids and the environment, so, and do not release any toxins and harmful smell. Five layers of self-heal and withstand intense cutting. So, you know, I have had um, craft mats that I have opened that have been sealed in plastic wrap and open it up and oh my goodness, it's like opening a brand new shower curtain, which is gross, right? So this one, as you can see, was wrapped up in bubble wrap, so it had been sealed in some plastic as well, and they're also in this cardboard, so let's see what we've got here. I don't smell anything after taking that off, but um, some of the craft mats like you would get at a like the fabric store ones I've gotten, they were, they've been sitting out on the shelf long enough that they pretty much gassed out so that you couldn't smell, um, you couldn't really smell the odor anymore. But it's still there. The toxins are still there. And think about that every time you cut through them. They have three sizes, 12 by 18, 18 by 24, and 24 by 36. So they've sent me the three sizes here. So I'm going to share with you. Now they also have different colors. And so, this is interesting, they are two-tone, so they're reversible. And I am guessing it's Eco-Pico, because it's E-C-O-P-E-C-O. -E -E so this is their 18 by, their 12 by 18. You know, I'm putting this right on my face. I don't smell a thing. I mean, nothing. It's not even low odor, it's no odor. That's impressive. So, of course, I will do videos. I will test these and see how the self-healing aspect works, if I still smell anything or still don't smell anything after um, checking it out, after using them. And I do see they have a little recycle mark right there for you recyclers. So if it does get to the point for some reason years down the road and you aren't going to use them anymore, they're recyclable. So there you go. We have this one. It looks like kind of a forest green and an olive green on the, that. So the next size, there's a little piece of paper here. Okay. The next size is the eight, 24, 18 by 24. It's got the light blue here and kind of the turquoisey blue this side. And again, the same thing has the recycling mark on it and says PV free. So this one is the big one. The big kuna, 36 by 24 has the gray, the gray on that side, and the black on that side. Now I've been wondering about using black. For me, when I do videos, it makes a difference what color is I, I'm using because the lights, uh, 
it just does something on the videos. And I noticed when I use green on a video, um, it makes my videos pretty dull, but I can use this color a little more easily than this color. And this is a good travel size, by the way. And um, so this is really exciting. I'm going to replace the mat that I'm currently using with this one. I'm going to do some videos with the dark charcoal and with the light gray and see how those turn out. Um, and then um, that's my would be my craft mat under my work. But I think for cutting on video, I'm going to play around with these two so that you can see. I like to not, pref I prefer not to cut as much as possible on my big one, personal preference. Um, so I will definitely be testing these out and giving you guys a head up. So look down below for uh, the link to this website. I'm excited because I am into uh, work, be my concern for the environment, my concern for our health, and uh, I think they've come up with something that's unusual and they filled a really important need in the crafting community. Thank you for watching.